Okay. So that was the older classification before 2009. So from 2009, the World Health Organization redefined the clinical syndrome. So they, now they made it simple. Dengue, which is not severe without any warning symptoms or dengue, which is severe. So when do you call a patient with dengue fever or suspected dengue fever, if he has these features, any of these features, okay, patient has fever, suspected to have dengue and has any of these features, that is evidence of plasma leakage, that is rising hematocrit or uh, plasma leaking into pleural space, plasma leaking into the abdominal cavity, peritoneal cavity, or the patient develops <clears throat> a shock, patient has significant bleeding manifestations, patient has altered level of consciousness, there is severe GI involvement, that is the patient has a lot of abdominal pain and vomiting, or there is organ impairment, that is a patient has respiratory failure or renal failure, etc. Okay, if the patient has any of these features, then the patient has severe dengue infection. So patient has dengue, comes to a fever, dengue test is positive, then these are the warning signs. You know, that tells you that, okay, the patient is going into a severe dengue phase. Okay, if they have abdominal pain or tenderness, they have persistent vomiting, that is three or more times in 24 hours, they have persistent diarrhea, that is three or more times in 24 hours, they have evidence of third space fluid accumulation, that is SHS pleural effusion, they have spontaneous bleeding tendency, they're restless, they have tender right upper quadrant, that is tender liver, okay. So, and there is hemoconcentration drop in platelet count. These are all warning symptoms that, okay, this patient with dengue is sick. You know, we are probably dealing with severe dengue infection. Okay, now we have a patient with fever. Sorry. Now we have a patient with fever and we are suspecting dengue or we've already done the dengue test and it's positive and we've made a diagnosis of dengue. Okay. Uh, how do we clinically evaluate? So first thing, obviously, we need to check their vitals. What is the pulse rate of the patient, the pulse, blood pressure? Is there any evidence of uh, bleeding in skin or other sites? So we need to examine the skin. We need to look at the conjunctiva. We, we need to look at the oral cavity. Are there any particular purpure? Okay, you might have heard or read about this test called uh, tonic test. Okay, I will uh, touch upon it uh, in the next five minutes or so. And obviously, in any patient with fever, not just dengue fever, we need to assess hydration status. Okay. And we also need to, in a patient suspected dengue, we need to examine the lung field, see if there are reduced breath sounds suggestive of a pleural effusion, or whether the abdomen is distended and dull, suggestive of, you know, fluid accumulation in the peritoneal cavity, that is SHS. Okay. So what is tonicate test? Tonicate test is where we... Uh, tie a BP cuff around the patient's arm and inflate it midway between systolic and diastolic pressure and leave it for five minutes. And after five minutes, in one inch square area, if there are more than 20 petechiae, then it's positive test. Having said that, anybody who has capillary fragility, who have weak capillaries, they will develop petechiae when you apply pressure. So that means anybody who is like in a very elderly, frail elderly, 80, 90 year old, if you do a tunica test, it's likely to be you may, they, they're likely to develop a lot of petechia when we apply pressure for five minutes. That's because the capillary are very, their capillaries are very fragile. So that is, this test is neither sensitive nor specific for dengue fever. It just is a sign of capillary fragility, which is maybe because of old age, because of some other bleeding uh, disease or in dengue because of low platelets. Okay, so some of the usual or common manifestations of dengue or the fever, headache, myalgias, rash, okay. But unusual manifest ma manifestations, which are less common compared to the common manifestations are altered sensorium, severe hepatitis. In fact, mild hepatitis is very common in dengue. Uh, LV cardiac dysfunction, that is myocarditis or cardiomyopathy and severe GI hemorrhage. They are, they are not rare, but they are, you know, they're unusual. They happen only in severe dengue. 